man, there y'all go, man. Look at that, another beautiful heavy load headed on out to that shredder mill. They go to 85 Chevy Caprice down at the bottom in the middle. There she go. Boy, look at that. You know that sucker is heavy, man. Man, see, y'all check this out here. Probably about two hours ago, y'all, we just had this place over here raided. Just out of nowhere, man. It was just an unexpected routine, man. Golly, had the Dallas Sheriff's over here. Had the damn auto theft unit over here. Boy, man, they came off of here in this baby right here. Full force, guys. I mean, full force. I was putting the damn me car up on the drain rack. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, man, I just see these cop cars, unmarked cars. I mean, they just come slamming up off of here. Just like, boom, 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 boom. It's like, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Don't do nothing else. Don't touch no other cars. Don't do nothing. I was like, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell me no twice. That's for damn me show. That is for damn show. I ain't got to tell a brother like me twice, man. But yeah, y'all. Woof, man. Kind of. Kind of made me think there for a sec. Kind of made me think like, uh-oh, man, are these dudes coming for me, man? Because they coming with full force. I mean, they came with laptops. They got everything, man. Everything. They was about like, um, I think it was about like nine of them, y'all. They came in here and checked every single car in this place, man. Every single car, but they didn't find anything stolen because these guys right here, they do everything by the books. Everything is by the books with these guys here. They run the bins. They do everything here to make sure... None of the cars that they bought are stolen because, man, you got a lot to lose. You end up end up buying something that you knew it was stolen. And, you, you I mean, you'll lose everything. But it's just not worth it with these guys here, man. Because these, these guys live it. This is, what they, this is what they live for to do every single day. You know, and they be like, man, we got too much to lose, G, behind stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, believe me, I know. I've been knowing you guys. I've been knowing you guys for a very long time. We go all the way back. Shit, some of us, we go back 16, 17 years. You know, it's just crazy. But it's not the first time that I've been shut down neither. It's not the first time neither. Because uh, I remember a while back, probably, whoops, maybe about, uh, maybe about, about eight, nine years back, we was crushing at this one spot one day. And I mean, the FBI came up off in there. U.S. Marshals came up off in there. It was Dallas police up off in there. Man, they came off in there and they shut us down. When I say shut us down, we couldn't do nothing for days, man. For days and days. And at that point then, at that point then, they did find stolen cars from them, you know, from other people that was buying them then because then, you know, then it wasn't no rules and stuff. You could just buy junk cars then, you know. And man, boy, 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 boy man. It had got so bad up over there because they found so many stolen cars. They made uh they made Aaron, they made Aaron separate all the cars that we had crushed. All of them. They're like, man, we want all these cars here separated. We want them all separated. That way that that way we can check all the VIN numbers on all of them. Boy, man, y'all, we had we we had at least about at least about 20 bundles we had to take apart just for them to check them. It's like, wow, man, wow. But you know what I mean? When you got a, you know, say when you got a salvage yard, you know, I mean, well, salvage yard, crushing yard, you always want to make sure, man, everything is done correctly, because all it takes is just one car, one car. That's all it takes, and bam, you, 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 know I mean, you, you just damn near lost everything, man, you know. But you know, if, you know, if, if they go to, well, I wouldn't say you lose everything, but if they go to somebody's spot and if they find more than one stolen car then and that is a problem you know what i mean but if they do come to your spot and they just find maybe one stolen car but you do have but you do have the bill of sale and the title where you bought the car then they can't really do nothing to you but they could go back and do something to that person because that person sold you that car which which they shouldn't have sold you that car you know what i mean so man Whew, that's pretty crazy boy pretty crazy man Pretty crazy. <laughs> Big body suburban. So Marvin, Mar Marvin, Marvin, he had a question for me. What do you do with all the tires? Oh, you mean the tires that we take off the cars or tires that are just laying around? Now, if this tire is taking off the cars, 
we have people that come by here and actually buy these tires here. All of them, the way they are, some of them use them for other things. Some of them buy them just for the rims that they can sell at the tire shops. Uh, there's a lot of things that we actually do with some of these uh, tires here. You know, some of these guys here, they use them for like spares on, you know, spares for their cars or something like this, especially if they're hauling hauling jump cars and they don't have anything to put on the back of them so they use some of these wheels here now wheels now the tires that don't have the rims on them we normally stick them in the cars i normally do them myself with the tip of the fork i'll put like four or five of them on the tip of the fork and be like bam and just start and just start sticking them off in the cars i don't stick that many up off and i'll probably stick no more than about four of them that's about it so just like uh just like here it's like how you see all them tires sitting over there on the on the left side and then you got another some more tires sitting right there on the right side so basically basically there's a buyer that come off in here with a big old long box truck and he'll fill up them and then he'll take all them tires right there i don't know how much these guys sell these tires for i'm really not for sure and i'm not for sure how much the how much the um how much the tire guys buy these tires they might buy it i mean they might buy the tires four dollars a piece five dollar piece i'm not for sure at all but i do know but i do know majority of the aluminum wheels come off majority of all of them come off now if it's a steel wheel that's on a good tire we go ahead and take that off just because just because it's a good it's a good tire on a steel wheel and it'll make some money so you know not all tires go to waste not all tires do Go ahead and put the old Chevy 1500. This is my truck. Well, it's not my truck, but this is this is this, this is like my personal truck here. But this is not in here. My personal truck is way better looking than this one right here. Way better looking. All right, let me get my buddy Mario another another one. Jake Butteron, have you ever crushed a box from a box truck or do you put it to the side for storage? Well, man, not too long ago, I just crushed a big ass box truck. But um, it, it's, it's all based on what the customer wants to do with that truck before I actually get to it. Sometimes they'd be like, hey, G, can you uh, such and such and, you know, can you, uh, you know, you know, can you, um, set the truck up there and undo it for me and do the box for me such and such i want to use the box for storage you know sometimes these guys they do use it for storage but majority of the time they be like man jesus go ahead and crush it man i don't even want it no more man you know it's already torn all up somebody already hit it you know so you know so we you know it's it's all it's always it's always different things on these trucks right here always like i say these guys right here they may use it they may use it for storage at their house or something like that. They don't necessarily have to be here. Boy, Chevys and Dodge. Chevys and Dodge getting fed to my crush. That's basically all it is, guys. Chevys and Dodge. Mm -hmm. Boy, then I got another, then I got another high-end Mercedes Benz. Boy, 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 boy. There's gonna be a lot of people be like, well, damn, man, why is he crushing so many of them? Because they are POSs, and I meant every word I said about them. And I'm not gonna change my word about them, period. Shit, that's the reason why, that's the reason why I make these videos right here. It's the reason why I make them. To prove a point to people about certain vehicles that will not last for no reason, period. They do not even see that. Got another, got another Ford F-250 sitting up over there. I got two of them back to back there. <laughs> and then I had a, then I had a old, I had an old Honda Civic here, y'all. And I specifically told this dude not to mess with it. See, look, there go another Benzo right there. And I told this dude, hey, don't mess with the Honda, Honda Civic. And he still did. He still did. Look at that. Man, Lexus. Lexus, Lexus. SC, I think it's SC 600, I think. 
the bank. I can't really see it that far because the damn reflection. Reflection on everything. Yeah, just like that bus right there. That that bus right there, that's gonna be for storage sooner or later. Sooner or later it's gonna be for storage. They'd be like, gee, man, can you take that off the frame for me right quick and set it back? Just like that other, just like that other white one right there. It's gonna be for storage. It's just sitting right there for the time being until I can actually get my hands on it and actually have enough time to uh undo the U-boats at the bottom of the frame. They'll take that off. There you go right there. Look at that. Or they have 150 right there, another one. Boy, man, I tell you, man. The suckers right here, boy, they are a dime a dozen now. Dime a dozen. I will be right back after these messages. So, Jake Butterman, he's got another question for me. How many rides have you crushed in one day? How many cars have I crushed in one day? Being right here at this spot, if I'm not recording or anything like that, and if I'm this, if I'm this straight crushing, I could do uh, I could do anywhere from anywhere from I would say anywhere from 15 to about mm, I probably guess that maybe about 50 cars one day. Now, if I'm at a junkyard somewhere. And I know there's nothing on the cars, no gas tanks, no motors, no nothing. Oh, shh, I can do about 100 cars a day. About 100 cars in one day. I mean, anybody can do it, it's just common sense, you know what I mean? Anybody can do it. That's if, that's if you know what you are doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then no, you ain't gonna be able to crush that many cars in one damn day. You just won't be able to at all, period. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to crush cars, but it takes a person that knows what the hell they're doing in order to do the job right and make them fit. You know what I mean? Without flipping over the damn me crush or something like that. So, I mean, hey. I mean, and like I said, it's like I tell anybody, it's like I tell everybody else, man. Anything is possible in one day. It's all based on what's on the cars. That's what it's all based on. over here sign language and uh, Mario right quick. Uh, for some reason, my jog has been acting a little funny, so she's not jogging right for some damn reason. I know later on, probably just later on, probably tomorrow or something, I have to go up there and uh, probably make some adjustments to the computer or whatever. See what's going on with or something. And I just fix it and take it from there. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. And I just... Now just take care of it from right there. That's about it. Oof, man. Daniels Athens, he had another question for me. How many cars do you think you have crushed in a year? Oh, man. Man, within a year? Man, I, I, I'm going to probably, I'm going to probably put it maybe... I don't know, in probably in between probably in between six, probably six to eight thousand cars a year. I would put it something like that. I would I probably wouldn't put it past that right there. That's why I would probably put it at in between five to about eight thousand, something like that. Something like that. Because I mean you could go to one place and crush a thousand cars right there in that month or something, or you could go to another place and crush 3,000 cars, you know what I mean? And that, that's in what, uh, that's in what, a, uh, a couple of months time? Like a, whoa, 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 a couple of months time, if you know what you're doing, like I always say, I was supposed to get a bag and tag, but I'll get that, I'll get that a little later, a little, a little, a little later, a little, a little later. Man, but y'all know what? I'm gonna get back with y'all guys, man. I gotta make some K-frame sandwiches, and that right there is gonna take a while. So y'all stay up, and I'll stay up. Peace, I'm out of here.